arc length of a circle. We're at 12.3c, which means we did A and B, so this is the third part of the lesson. If you've missed any of the previous lessons, they're linked in the playlist in the description. In the same way that the area of a sector is a fraction of the area of a circle, this is one-fourth of the area of the circle, isn't it, this sector? The length of an arc is a fraction of the circumference of a circle. So this would be one-fourth of the circumference of the circle. So for your notes, arc length is the distance along an arc measured in linear units, such as inches, feet, centimeters, meters. We have a diagram here. We can see the radius. M is going to be the degree measure of the arc. And our formula would be L for the length of the arc is equal to 2 pi r times the quotient of M degrees and 360 degrees. So to completely understand the formula, we have L, that's our arc length. We have 2 pi r, and that's the formula for the circumference of a circle, isn't it? And then we have this m degrees over 360 degrees. That's the arc's fractional part of the circle. When we put these together, we get the fractional part of the circumference of the circle. Now take a look at this diagram. We have a circle. We can see that this arc right here is showing, it's giving us its 90 degrees. We can see the radius is 10 centimeters. Using our formula, we put in our information and arc CD is equal to 2 pi 10, because our radius is 10, and that's going to be that 90 degrees over 360 degrees. Well, that's 1 fourth, isn't it? So we do 2 times 10, so we have pi and 20 over here, and we're going to multiply it by a fourth, and we can put this pi behind there, couldn't we? We can reduce it with 4, and we get 5 pi centimeters. To answer it to the nearest hundredth, we multiply the 5 times pi, and we get this nice long decimal that we can round to 15.71 centimeters. So that's the length of our arc. We can find an arc length of an arc with a measure of 35 degrees in a circle and a radius of 3 inches. We don't have a diagram, but we can just use the formula. They gave us the information. Our radius is 3 inches, so we put a 3 here. And we know the measure of the arc is 35 degrees, so that would go here. And 2 times 3 is 6, so now we've got a pi and a 6 here. We can reduce it with 6, and we get 35 over 60 times pi, which this is divisible by 5, isn't it? So we get 7 twelfths pi. And 7 twelfths times pi would be 0.5833 repeats times pi, which comes out to approximately 1.83 inches. Now we talked about this a little bit back in video 12.2a. We can also find arc length by using a proportion. This is the length of the arc over the circumference is equal to the degree measure of the arc over 360. So if we were to use the example that we just had, we can figure out the arc length using this proportion. We would have L for length of the arc over circumference is 2 pi r, isn't it? That's the formula. And it's going to be m degrees over 360 degrees. And they're set equal to each other. And you're also going to learn this in the beginning of trigonometry. So using the given information from our previous example, we knew that the radius was a 3, and we knew that we had 35 degrees for the degree measure of the arc. We put that into our proportion. We can use cross products. We get 360L is equal to 2 pi times 3 times 35. 2 times 3 is 6. We have 6 pi times 35. That gives us 210 pi on this side. We can solve for L by dividing both sides by the 360, and 
we get L is equal to 7 twelfths pi, just like we had before, and we get 1.83 inches, just like we did before, we get the same answer as when we used L is equal to 2 pi r times the quotient of m degrees and 360 degrees. Same answer, just used a proportion instead. So as I mentioned before, arc length of a circle is also taught in the beginning of trigonometry. In my book, it's like chapter 3, so it's right up front. So if you were able to understand this, and you're in high school geometry, you can know in your heart that trigonometry is not going to be that big of a deal. If you could follow this lesson, you'll be okay in trig. So for the fourth and last part of this lesson, 12.3, we're going to go to 12.3d. We're going to talk about measuring angles in radians. So we're introducing you to the term radians and what it is and how to use them. And then we'll go on to 12.4a and talk about inscribed angle, intercepted arc, and subtends. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you were able to write down the formulas for arc length and even how to write the proportion to find an arc length. And I'll see you for the last part of this lesson. Have a great day. Bye.